All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, still having issues here with my uh, 650SX. Um, it is not uh, cooling correctly. So after doing some research, I think I figured it out. Um, I won't have a chance to really test this until I take it back to the lake, but uh, as you guys can see, I've got all new hoses on it. Replaced everything um, except for this lower one. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that where it goes down, down there to the bottom. But I think that is part of my problem. Um, after looking at a friend ski, um, I need to go back and double double check. But I think it's the one the blue one's plugged into right there. That lower one is actually a vacuum side for your oh the little stock. Um, Oh, like bilge pump, I guess what you want to call it. It runs off a vacuum that would suck the water out from down there. So um, I know all my buddies, that's where it hooks up at is over there. So I'm thinking that's hooked up um, wrong. I think I've got one, one line that's actually probably pulling water out. Um, and yeah, I can't really see down right there. So I'm thinking that I actually need to pull this line here off. Um, and tie it in to the other side over there and then actually probably plug that other spot there, I guess, is what I'm kind of guessing. Um, while I was riding it, I had water coming out of be this one and the exhaust had absolutely nothing going through it. So, um, and I think that's because water is coming in this one, going through, cooling half of it. The other half is actually probably sucking vacuum back out is kind of what i'm guessing so um again i'm not 100 percent sure that's correct i need to do some more research but i know the way that it's routed right now is it's it's not right um i'm not getting any water through uh this upper um or anything through through here at all so it makes me believe that that side um something's not right so uh yeah not real sure what's going on um, that's the only thing I can kind of come up with. Like I said, looking in uh, my buddy's ski, that kind of looks like the side that the vacuum portion, I guess, would be on that would actually suck the water off the bottom um, and pull pull the water out of the ski. So it's kind of what I'm thinking is going on. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I guess I can show you guys what I'm talking about. I kind of went out here and looked at this one. This is a 750s and it's a ZXI, but it's, it's very, very similar motor. So you got your, your two um ports here so the way i understand or how these work um is basically you've got one that should come in over here on the intake side which would be this big hose here so this is filling water um into your exhaust manifold which is this lower portion here water then goes through through there through the head this is actually feeding back into here um, and cooling your upper exhaust. Um, water then is coming back out of this side, going down, tees here, and goes around. Uh, this one's kind of tricky, it runs around and ties back into your exhaust uh, down here, which then would go, uh, go on out through the back of the jet ski. Um, this line here actually comes back off and this one actually goes to, um, sorry, I built a spot in the hose, but it's good. This one actually goes out and comes to a pisser on this side of the ski right there. So you can see, and then that other small line that you guys see, well, I just had it. I'm not sure where it went. Um, Sorry guys, I'm trying to find the other line that I just seen. Um, here, anyway, it goes up here to this one. So, and what line I'm talking about is this one here. So you guys can see, you've got a little vacuum. Uh, that piece down there comes up and then goes through here. And then this actually goes down to the back as well. Causes a suction, sucks the water off the bottom of the ski. So that's what I believe I'm hooked into on one side. And so what I'm thinking I need to do is probably tee it. So you'd have something um, kind of more like this type setup. 
but I'm not not 100% sure because this one's going back to the back. So I'm assuming that this is also a water pickup along with this hose here. So you'd have two that's bringing water into the engine. Um, again, yeah, I'm a little bit confused because the way this has got to be going back out because the way this is hooked up. So you got water coming in here and going out there. But yeah, so I'm a little... Um, Again, I'm a little, little lost on how uh, how this ski needs to be hooked up. So I may, um, I just need to get online, do some re more research. Um, I think I'm really, really close. I mean, if you look at how these setups are here, they're very, very similar um, as far as where everything is routed outside of the way my water lines come in. So I'm gonna do some more research. I think I'm close. Um, we'll see what I come up with and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Um, if you guys have been watching the the uh, GTX, um, it hasn't moved yet. I actually got a tool coming that I'm hoping will help me get these wrist pins in. So uh, that'll be coming. I actually need to pull, pull these back off. I'm going to stick them back in the cylinders one more time. Um, hold the cylinders up there and the uh, tool that I got Basically, you put the little wrist pin clips in it, you slide it up against here, smack it with a hammer, and it's supposed to set that clip or like knock it. It's this area, it, it's already compressed, I guess, so it allows it to just press on out into that area. So we'll see how it works. Uh, if it don't work, the next step will be to pull this engine, which I'm really, really not looking forward to. I don't think it's too bad. I think you, I'd have to do some more research online these are totally different than the kawasaki um a kawasaki is pretty simple as far as you just have like a love joy back here and so you unbolt the engine slide it forward it comes right out so they're they're pretty pretty easy um but yeah i mean if i do pull this there's a lot more lines a lot more electrical just more crap to undo and to be honest i really don't want to if i don't have to um but yeah, this is this ski's been a little bit frustrating. So yeah, if you guys are watching, I will have another video coming soon. Um, it's actually, I recorded it a couple, it's, it's actually been several days ago. So um, yeah, but so I'll get that video out on, on this ski, but um, really just kind of wanted to throw what's going on with this. I actually had a video posted for a little bit on the water lines, but they are incorrect. So I will get these fixed and um, yeah, we'll see how it all goes. And if I get this hooked up right, I'll kind of show a video of the right way to run these lines. So anyway, we'll catch you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Um, love to you guys hit that subscribe button, share. We're getting close to that thousand mark. I think I'm like at eight, I don't remember, 860, maybe something like that. So uh, we'll catch you all in the next one.